did his package time on that was 9.45. 9.45. Safety check. Got a good meter? Got a good meter. All right, bring it up to waist high. You guys are going to need tension before you haul. There's waist. So you need to call for tension. Tension, please. That's tension through the ID. Stroke it through the ID first. That rope ought to look like a laser beam before we even haul. So tight, hand tight it. Pull it through the ID. Pull it, pull it. There you go. There you go. That's okay. Okay. So. Everybody good? Yes. Yeah. So it's prepared to haul. Remember, you guys you guys try to stay up and just lean back and let them do the work. It's probably the best way to drive it. Okay. All the way. All the way. Plant yourself and take off walk. Right you guys just try to keep that constant load on the basket. That's the way to go. We're stopping. Clacking. Clack. Reset. One of the things I want you guys to notice, the haul crew up here is running off at about a 45 degree angle which puts a vector in the rope. You're gonna go back down every time they reset. You felt at that time, right? That's because they're not running in parallel. So anyway, go ahead, come on, go, go, go. The more he bends that rope, the more it could potentially skew you guys. Have one patient in the vehicle. Continue everybody at this time. Stop. 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 Reset. Lay back into it, guys. During your break, just lay back and relax on the basket. There you go. Let them know we're hauling. We're hauling. All right. That's just to make sure your feet are ready to take the next step. Guys, don't try to climb the hill. Let the, just go with the ride. Reset. Resetting. It's all. It's honestly better for you to lay back and ride the basket. If you try to billy goat it, you're, you're ultimately going to kind of just be unstable. If we've gone this far, just go along for the ride. There you go. Don't be jerky. They'll be jerky. Reset. All right. One reset. Now. Let's go, just all we need is just a smidge more haul, and then after that we just need to be progress all captured, it. right? Yeah. All right, stop, hold it waist level. All right, now let's rapidly get some progress capture. These guys can walk now, but we need to keep the rope tight, right? So whether you're, you don't really need to be with any progress capture, right? So just keep the rope tight through the ID as they walk towards us. Come on, guys, come on. They're walking, they're walking. Stop, stop, stop. Progress capture, that means the rope too tight. <laughs> All right, so we got we got pretty decent traction, hey, but look at the audience coming out of JCP. Oh, yeah, there you go. Come out of there, let us know. If you guys think about the big picture here, remember our edge right there. We're still within a basket length of that edge, right? Which yeah. means from an exposure standpoint, we want this thing still to be anchored, anchored to an anchor until he was safely moved away. So this says a lot about point of anchorage to point of edge. We need an LZ right now. We're pretty close. If we PC him all the way up to right here, that would just be out of the danger zone where we could go back to ambulance. So the, the original thought process with parking this truck, though it's better to have the anchor close, it's actually better to have the anchor way back from the edge, right? We got plenty of rope, so it'll be better to do that. Setting free. We're going to move the truck and we'll step for another one. 